This is Chris Gloss, inspirational speaker and author, and we are on question number two of the nine must answer, must answer questions to a more healthier, happier, and empowered you. So we're continuing the conversation that we're having about being more healthier, happier, and living a life more empowered. So we're reviewing these nine questions, and just like question number one, let's go ahead and dive in. So question number two. What are you willing to do different? Look, we all want the same things in life. Dude, out of these four things that we're about to talk about, we all want these four things. Either you want one of them or you want all four of them. We want more security in life. We want to make sure that we feel more stable, that there's some stability in our lives, that we have financial security, that we have security within our relationships. We all want that. And we all want to be more healthier. That's the reason why the health industry is a multi-billion dollar industry is because we want to be healthier. We want to live healthier lives. We want to make sure we're putting the right things in our bodies so that we can be here for a long period of time and enjoy life. And we also want more joy and peace. Those days of living a life filled with drama are over. We want more joy and we want some peace in our life. And then we want some more money. Now, I don't know how many of you are listening to this that you don't need more money. You know what? That's perfectly fine. But do you want more joy and peace in your life? Do you want to be healthier? Do you just want more security and stability in your life? More than likely, yes. So we all want these four things. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with wanting more security, being healthier, having more joy and having more peace and having more money. Nothing wrong with that. But as you continue to pursue these goals and to pursue these things, you want to ask yourself, what are you willing to do different? Greg Provenzano was right when he said, are you willing to pay the price for success up front and full? Or... Will you be willing to pay the price of regret and failure and pay that price in increments over a lifetime? See, that's what we're talking about, paying the price. What are you willing to do different to get the things that you want? You say you want these things, but what are you willing to do different in your process to really get to the place that's going to make you feel fulfilled in these different areas? So what I want to do today is provide you with a couple of keys that you can use to help you on your journey because it's going to be a process. So if you're taking notes, here's something I want you to write down, that it's a process, not an event right? Most of the time that we're in life, it's a process. This is something that's going to happen over time and you're going to need to stay encouraged and motivated, inspired in this process. And I don't want you always looking on the outside to get motivated, to be inspired and to feel empowered. I want it coming from the inside of you. So I want to give you some things, some tips, some tools, some techniques, these keys that you can use on your journey. So the first key is be flexible. So let's go ahead and define what it means to be flexible. The first definition is ready and able to change so as to adapt to different circumstances. I love that, that you're ready and able, just like the green light, right? That you're ready, that it's go time. It's go time in your life, that you're ready and able to change so as to adapt to different circumstances. Because on this process of doing things differently so you can get the things that you want, you may have to adapt to different circumstances. There are some things where you're going to be uncomfortable, but here's what you you need to remember in this process that it's worth it to get those things that you want, those those things that's going to make you feel fulfilled in your life, that it is absolutely worth it, that you're going to have to adapt to some different circumstances and situations. But it's perfectly fine that not only that you're ready, you're able, you have an ability to do it already on the inside of you. Let's take a look at the second definition. So when it comes to being flexible, that you're capable of bending easily without breaking. I remember Whitney Houston had a song saying that you were not built to break. I love that, that you were not built to break. You may bend. The winds may blow. It may get real challenging. It may be real stressful, but you're capable of bending. You can handle it. You have an ability on the inside of you to handle it without breaking. Many people will give up, cave in and quit, but not you. You will be able to handle it. It feels like situations and the pressure can break you. Ben, don't break. 
No matter how hard it gets, you feel like you in that pressure cooker of life and you feel like you're just going to snap, that you're going to give up, you're going to cave in, quit, just throw in the towel. No, bend, don't break. It's okay to bend a little bit. It's okay for people to see you bend. It's perfectly fine. Bend, but don't break. Don't give up. Don't cave in and don't quit. Keep pushing forward. Keep pressing towards your dreams and goals because like we said earlier, it's absolutely worth it. It's just a little uncomfortable. You know, I often fly and one of the things when you're flying from one location to another location, sometimes it's rough air and you're going to experience some turbulence and it's going to shake a little bit. It's going to be a little fearful. It's going to be a little scary, but you know what? That's okay. We're going to make it to the other side. I may bend, but I'm not going to break. I'm going to hold on to my faith. That's right. And you're going to hold on to your faith, too. So that's right. So the first one is to be flexible. Let's take a look at the second thing is to be adaptable. So when you're on this process of doing things different, obtaining those things that you want. Remember, these are three things that I'm sharing with you that you hold on to three tools so that you can stay motivated, inspired and empowered from the inside. So the second one is be adaptable. Let's look at the definition for this able to adjust to new conditions. Remember, you have an ability on the inside of you to adjust to new conditions. That's right, you, your process and your path to doing things different to get those things you want, you may find yourself in having to deal with new experiences, meeting new people, doing, doing those things that are uncomfortable. It's gonna be some new conditions, but you have an ability to adjust to those new conditions. You're able to adapt to your new circumstances and surroundings. You're able to do that. See, you may not be doing what you love, but do what you have to do for right now, right? You recognize that in order, in order to get to where you want to be, you're going to have to do something different. So, you know, what? it's just like you may have to save money, which means you have to cut back. You can't go to your favorite coffee shop. You have to go somewhere else or brew it at home. You may not be able to go out to lunch every day of the week. You're going to have to do some things differently, right? You know, you may not be doing what you love, but do what you do for right now. Remember, it's not permanent. It's not permanent. It's just what you have to do for right now. I remember Zig Ziglar said at one time, in the beginning, you will do a lot of things you don't want to do. But in the end, you will do a lot of things that you love to do. Go ahead and bear being uncomfortable for right now, because down the road, you will experience the thing that you love to do more than anything else. It's right down the road. And you know what? This is just right now. And you have an ability to make it through. In the beginning, you'll just have to press through it. But you will get to the other side, to the place where you're able to enjoy all of the things that you really love to enjoy. OK, so let's look at the, the second definition for being adaptable, able to change or be changed in order to fit or work better in a situation for some purpose. <laughs> Can you feel me getting excited about this? Oh, I love this because we have an ability to change or be changed so that we could fit in and work better, that we're able to work with different people, diverse groups of people to be in order to accomplish our goals and new situations that we can fit in. Right. So there's not going to be any friction. It's going to be an ease that we're going to be able to that we're going to have in order to, to go through this process of doing things differently, to get those things that we love for that purpose, for that end goal for that result that we want. We're doing it for a reason. We have a purpose in mind. We have intention operating with us, right? That we can adapt to any situation. So as we go through this process of doing things different, we'll be able to fit in and adapt and be comfortable in this process. That word able, every time I see that word able, I get excited because it means we have an ability to be able to do it. So far, we talked about being flexible, adaptable. Now let's take a look at the third key that we're going to use on our journey. Be versatile. So let's look at the definition for versatile, able to adapt or be adapted to many different functions or activities. You know, sometimes in life, you're going to have to wear different hats. You know, I'm known in a speaker and I love to speak and I love to share um, tips, tools, and techniques. But you know, sometimes I have to put on a different hat. I have to put on the hat of a trainer. 
right? And then I could go out and I can do training. Sometimes I put the hat on as a radio personality or as a master of ceremonies or operating, uh, putting the hat on and working at a seminar. All those functions take on um, different capabilities. They're different activities. They're not the same. The only common denominator is that you're speaking at the end of the day, you have to approach those differently. You know, so sometimes you're going to have to wear different hats, many different hats of functions, but it's perfectly fine because you have an ability to be able to do it in order to do something different. These are the tools that's going to help you on your journey. Let's take a look at the other definition for being versatile, embracing a variety of subjects, fields or skills. Also turning with ease from one thing to another. Now, let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I love, that there's an ease for you to turn from one thing to another without being stressed out, without feeling overwhelmed. You know what? There's an ease to this process that you can have the joy. You can have the peace that you want in your life on a daily basis, that you can embrace these variety of subjects that is perfectly fine, that you're equipped to do it. You have an ability to do these things, right? So when you look at and think about that question, what are you willing to do different? What I'm saying is these three keys being flexible, adaptable and versatile can help you on the journey to getting all the things that you want and desire in your life. Because when you start asking yourself, what am I willing to do different? Recognizing the thing that I'm doing right now, it's not quite working out for me. It's not getting me the results that I want. So what am I willing to do different? These things right here are going to help you along the way to make sure that those things happen. Okay, now I would love to hear from you. I want you to leave a comment below of one takeaway from this session today. So from watching this video, what's one thing that stood out for you? What's one thing that you're willing to do differently? Share one thing in the comments below because I want to stay connected to you and I want to hear from you. Did you like the video? Do me a huge favor and subscribe, subscribe so that I can stay connected, but also so that you can be one of the first people to receive these videos as they come out. You will get an email to let you know that a new video was posted. Remember, we have nine questions that we're going to get through, and I want you to be one of the first people to have it in your hands. So to watch and comment and share some thoughts, ideas and suggestions. Also, take a moment and share this video. One of the best things that I think you can give anybody is the gift of motivation, inspiration and give them a gift of empowerment. And this is a free gift, simply sharing a link with them that can help them on their journey. They may be dealing with this situation and you could be the catalyst in their life. And I have a free gift for you. Please visit www.chrisgloss.com. Go to my website and download a free copy of my book, Become a Possibility Thinker. It's a great book to help you out with mindset maintenance in order to achieve your goals while you're on this journey to help you keep the right focus and stay distraction free and keep your mind on what matters most to you. So now I look forward to seeing you over in the next video. This has been your friend, Chris Gloss.